on Blazer Action News. We look behind the scenes at Travis's unveiling. Today is February 19th and Blazer Action News starts now. Hi, I'm Isabel Arancu. And I'm Alondra Dominguez. Last Friday, we welcomed a new member to the America's High School family. Here's Melissa with more details. Out with the old and in with the new. Last week, there was a changing of the guard. Travis says his goodbyes to America's High School, giving up the flag to a new and improved mascot. Student Council introduced the new Travis to an eager student body. SUCO President Anna Rivera tells us more about this memorable moment in America's history. I was really excited about the revealing, and I think it was great that we were able to have everyone come out and be a part of this big moment in the high school's history. And I think it went well, it was really fun. The mascot looks a lot more like America's, you know, but I'm really glad that we were able to keep still a Travis instead of changing it. Because, you know, Travis is home, it, it represents us, and he might look meaner, he might look a little different, but he's still Travis. According to Stuco, the decision to upgrade was made to add a new look and increase rivalries in the area. Student Cesar Ortiz explains the importance of this change. I felt it was like amazing just to, the whole tradition to be passing from one old Travis to the new Travis and to have as many people as we did that morning. I thought it was really nice for him to come out like that. I really loved it. To be part of it and to be running it and emceeing it as well was just a pleasure because I mean we're this class everybody that attended was part of America's history because it's a new mascot and the old one's leaving and this one's here to stay for a while now. And as you guys we will be looking forward to seeing Travis in our upcoming games. Reporting for Blazer Action News, I'm Melissa Martinez. Thanks, Melissa. Did you know that over 17 million people have received a GED? Here's an obvious lesson featuring one such person. Most high school students are able to graduate and get a diploma. Of course, that doesn't mean it's necessarily true for some. Oh, my life is so miserable. Why did I have to drop out? I can't even get a decent job. I can't afford anything right now. I'm so broke because none of the places I've applied for want me because I don't have a diploma. We want you to know there's still other outlets for you to seek help. We always encourage students never, ever to give up. So there are always options. Get a GED. It's the best option for your final option. If you have any questions, please talk to your counselor. Back to news at America's High School. Come jam out with us at the Guitar District Concert. Next Thursday, our state-bound guitarist will show us what they can do at the District Guitar Concert. Many hardworking musicians, like Luis Hernandez, are just itching to show off their mastery. I hope that I do well, but not only me, but also all of my peers. Um, we all work really hard at the, at the guitar program. We stay after school. We practice during lunch, all towards this concert. The concert will take place at Eastlake High School next Thursday the 25th at 7 p.m. So come ready to rock out. We have to take a break. Ryan is up next with sports. Dude, it's as easy as shooting a basketball. Welcome back, Blazers. Some people say that fashion can change a person. Let's catch up with some of our fashionable friends. <laughs> I got that new nail polish. <laughs> Me too. I got it. Hey, bro. You trying to fight, bro? Nah, man. I'm just trying to get on my boat, man. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, I wanna got these hot tops here, bro. On. Whoa! Yo, got that new Kanye album, yo. Did you see last night's episode of the Kardashians? <laughs> yeah, I did. Gotta get on that powerlifting grind. Bro, I gotta get on that dunk, you know? Bro, you need to get out of my way right now. Vans for life. I love Joy Division. I broke down my shoes. Dude, volleyball practice yesterday was so lit. Oh, my God. Homework what yesterday was so lit. Bro, they're serving cookies in the, in, the, in the cafeteria. I like to see them walk a mile in my shoes. Me too. Now let's check in with Ryan, who's here with sports. What's up, Blazers? I'm Ryan with this week's latest in sports news, and this is Blazer Blitz. So let's start off with basketball. Basketball played Eastwood 
and won with a score of 32 to 27. And they took on Montwood and took home the W with a score of 31 to 44. They still have a record of 30-0 and are ranked 50th in the state. Hooker took a loss against El Dorado with a score of 5-2 and took another loss against Eastwood with a score of 2-1. They play Montwood this Saturday at Montwood. If you can, you should try and go out and support your Blazers. Switching gears to softball, they took on Canatillo and lost with a score of 6-8. It was a close game, but they fought hard. And they play Permian tomorrow at 1. Track is currently leaving for their next meet at the SAC tonight and tomorrow. They take on a couple of very competitive schools like Franklin, El Dorado, Hanks, and Chapin. Go out and support your Blazers tonight as all the girls events take place or tomorrow as all boys events take place. That's all we have for Blazer Blitz this week. I'm Ryan signing off. Thanks, Ryan. Now don't forget, our annual Woodstock concert will take place next Thursday, February 25th from 3 to 6 p.m. in the theater. Tickets will be sold for $3 during both lunches. Money will be used to purchase shoes and socks for children in need. This year's theme will be movie musicals. So make sure to stop by, Blazers. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Isabel Arancu. And I'm Alondra Dominguez, and this has been Blazer, Blazer Action, Action News. News.